Hey everybody, my name is Mel and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my December reset. I like doing these in certain seasons where I'm going to be decorating, I have a lot of content plans, things where I'm actually going to be doing stuff because in the summer I just don't really do a whole lot. We definitely tend to lean into the fall and winter months around here. But we're going to be doing kind of the usual stuff in this video. I need to clean up the house a little bit because it has gotten to be a disaster and I cannot decorate while the house is a disaster. So that's priority number one. And then we are also going to be decorating and putting up my Christmas tree and my Christmas decorations as well. And I also want to kind of walk you guys through some of my reading plans for the rest of the year as well as some of my content plans for the rest of the year. This is not going to be my official December TBR. You will see TBR Bluff coming. I think the video after this one, I did want to share with you guys maybe some of the books that didn't end up on TBR Bluff or some of the things that maybe I don't have for videos, but I do want to try to read before the end of the year. Let me pull up Notion because you guys know how I love my Notion for content planning. And let's very quickly just fill in some of the extra videos and books that I need to read before the end of the year. through some of the things that I'm still planning to do before the end of the year. Obviously I'm going to be doing my December TBR but I also think that I'm going to be doing an unhaul. I really want to get all of my books off of my shelves that I am no longer interested in reading, kind of get them either into the closet or at Goodwill. I have a unhaul closet that I really 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 need to take to Goodwill but I just haven't been in the mood. I should put them on Pango too but that's just a lot of effort. My family tends to get me like bookish gift cards and things for Christmas and so I will be buying more books and I need somewhere to put them so that is a priority for sure. I am doing a secret video that I do not want to tell you guys about right now. I will also be doing another installation of TBR Knockout. So I did one of these earlier in the year I believe April and I really wanted to do more than two this year but it, it ended up being two. Basically every year I put out all of my unread physical books video where I walk you through every book that I own physically that is unread and you guys comment on that video tell me things that you're interested in seeing me read throughout the year and then I will randomize the comments for that and read a couple of books that you guys chose so I definitely want to do that again this year. I do want to walk through some of my anticipated releases of 2024. I have a couple of book club live shows still coming up so you guys know I'm co-hosting with Cassidy the Busy Bee book club for November. We are reading Dreams of the Dying, I believe is what it's called, and that live show will be coming up pretty soon. Holy Sister live show for Backlist Book Club is coming up soon. And then obviously I need to start SPFBO. So that is going to be kind of my priority for the end of the year is reading SPFBO books. If I get time, let me go hunt down some books that I really, really wanted to read this year, but just haven't made it on the TBR. And so I would love to do a vlog at the very end of the year reading all of those books that I just haven't gotten to yet. So let me go grab a few. Okay, I had way more of these than I thought I did. I managed to pull, I think it was like six or seven of these books of things that I really, really wanted to read before the end of the year, but I don't know that it's happening. So the first of which is Sons of Darkness by Gur Gurav Mahatni. This is a Indian, Eastern European inspired story that I have really, really, really wanted to read. Like I got the Broken Binding edition and everything, but I just haven't been able to like fit it into the content yet. And I have not really been reading out outside of that because I've had so much going on. So I do definitely want to get to this one before the end of the year. The only caveat to that is I know a lot of the patrons want to read it as well. So we may end up doing a buddy read for it. And I don't think this comes out in the US until January. So that could end up being a hold up for that one. I also really want to get to another Django Wexler. So A Thousand Names is the next on my list. This is a flintlock fantasy that I've heard amazing things about. You guys know that I can't shut up and quit screaming about Ashes of the Sun. It was one of my favorite series that I read last year and then finished off this year. And so I definitely want to get into some of more of his adult works. I did read his young adult and it was okay, but it definitely felt more young adult to me. So I'm excited to dive into his adult adult work with this one. I read the first chapter of this for my try a chapter tag, Fall of My Fantasy books and really enjoyed it. I gave it like an eight and a half, nine out of 10. So this is a potential five star prediction for me, which means that it terrifies me, but I cannot wait to finally pick it up. And then I have a couple of 
like thriller and horror, one of which is Strange Sally Diamond by Liz Nugent. Lexi read this this year and loved it. She said it is a very, very dark psychological thriller horror that kind of genre blends. It's not very long and I have been recommended it so many times. I love psychological horror and thriller, so I think that this is definitely something that I want to try to prioritize. I also have Midnight is the Darkest Hour by Ashley Winstead. This came out a few months ago now and everybody has been reading it and loving it and I need to read it and love it too. It has a very strange like comparison to it and I can't remember what that comparison was but I think it maybe involves vampires. I'm not really sure. It's small town. I've heard amazing things and I really need to pick this up. Then we have a fantasy romance. I do want to continue and potentially finish the Air Awaken series by Lise Kova. This is the book that I'm up to which is book four, Water's Wrath. I have really been enjoying this series. It's just so bingeable and so much fun. I really enjoy being with these characters. It is following a girl who realizes that she is the last air magician. Kind of gives me like Avatar vibes, but not really. It is a fantasy romance that I've been thoroughly enjoying. Then of course we have the newest Darcy Coates, Where He Can't Find You. I don't know how I have not read this yet. It is a young adult by her. She says the first young adult, but I also thought Falkroth Ghost was young adult. It is about the Stitcher, and I, I really have no idea how I have not read this yet. I'm slacking, but I've got to pick this up. And then the last horror is The Looking Glass Sound by Katriana Ward. I loved, loved, loved The Last House on Needless Street and have just been kind of chasing that vibe from her ever since. I know some people have told me that I probably will not give this one five stars, but I still really want to pick it up and try it. It's about a writer who gets a little too involved in his writing. Okay, guys, so I think that that is like my priority TBR for the rest of the year. Those are the things that I really want to pick up outside of videos if I have time, but we will see what all I managed to pick up. If there's something on here that you think I should prioritize, please let me know because I'm going to need a way to whittle this down somehow. <laughs> okay, so those are all of the things that I think I can still share about my upcoming plans and reading plans for the end of the year. So the part that I'm so excited for, so let me flip you guys to the weekend where I had a little bit more time to get the house clean and get the tree decorated. I am very excited to be getting my Christmas tree up soon, but before I do that, unfortunately, I do have to clean the house a little bit. It is a mess and it's just something that I need to do before I start decorating. You know, nice clean house set for December. I'm here for it, but I, I gotta do it and I don't wanna do it. I wish I could say that it is like really cold outside and I can put on a Christmas sweater and just enjoy the decorating and all of that vibes, but um, it's not, it's 75 degrees here. So honestly, this has got to go if I'm gonna be cleaning. And I guess let's just get to the dishes. relatively clean. We're not completely there, but we're getting there. So what I think I'm going to do next is go grab the Christmas decorations and the Christmas tree. We need to get that up and fluffed. And then I will cut forward in this vlog because my mom is going to be helping me decorate. That's kind of a tradition of ours is that she helps decorate the tree and I help decorate her tree. I'm going to get done as much as I can today other than just decorating the tree, but we're going to get the rest of the decorations up. We're going to get it up and fluffed and ready to go.
it's the next day. I have gotten everything up decorated and I wanted to show you guys the final product. I couldn't get mom to let me set up the camera because I really wanted to time lapse us decorating the tree, but she said absolutely not that she did not want to be on camera, which I expected, but I shot my shot. So let me show you guys the finished product with everything lit up. I think it turned out really, really great and I'm just in the festive spirit. So now I'm excited to be able to enjoy my lights. Okay, so. Coming over here, the kind of like sofa table thing of mine. And I do have a garland that kind of wraps up around. I want another one of these to put over here. So I also have this little table thing that you guys have probably seen. I would love another garland to like put right here, but right now I don't have one of those yet. And then we have the mantle, excuse the football in the background. And I just got these at TJ Maxx today, the little cozy fuzzy stockings with the little house holders, so love those. We have my bears, which I got two years ago and honestly leave them out year round because I just love them. Our little deer, and then the man of the hour, the Christmas tree. And I think it looks really, really good. We have all these little things that I like to stuff in there, like my Santa Claus guy. We've got a little lamb, I think is what he is. My reindeer guy. And then I think there's a couple, yeah, there's a couple like little owls and stuff stuffed in there too. But this is the final product. I think it looks really, really good. I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. Okay guys, so I think that that is it for this reset. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I am ready for December. I think that it's going to be a great month. I'm excited. I'm excited to bring you guys along with me for the month of December. I hope you are also looking forward to some of the video plans that I have because I know that I am really looking forward to them. But yeah, let me know down in the comments, have you decorated for Christmas yet? Are you excited for December? What are you doing to reset your month and just kind of finish out this year strong? I cannot believe that I have to say that, but I guess we are finishing out the year. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. As always, links to my Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads are all in the description box down below. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. It really helps my channel grow, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!